Shalom, all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahawashai, Bahasham Racha Kudash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect Akim that are teaching this word. Shalom, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahawashai, Bahasham Racha Kudash. Now, um, as you can see here, is a video by you know a woman, her channel Lisa Cabrera, right? And she's got uh, she's done a video here. Vladimir Putin reveals votes featuring the so-called so-called black black Jesus and the saints, which we know you know we're different shades of brown, you know, um, from, ranging from a darker brown to a lighter brown. You know, our people, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the Israelites. You know, but the point is, she's doing a she's done a video here talking about that, and you know, I, I jumped to twenty two minutes in. And she says the Lord's name, Yahweh Shai's name. Now I do know, which is a beautiful thing, you know, she's an Israelite and she's proclaiming the name of the Lord. So the Lord's name is being exalted on the earth, man. And it really that really began with us here at the Great Millstone. You know, the GMS, the brothers at GMS, beginning with our apostles on down, we proclaim Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's name all the time. You know, that's our thing. We always we that's the main thing we lean on. We always proclaim the name, we say the name. Now, this woman, right, I know that this lady here, this uh, Lisa Cabrera, the, the, elder, the elder brother out, there, out in Chicago, the, the elder of Chicago, the, I believe the elder Malcolm, he, meant, he um, does responses a lot to her videos. That's where I even remembered her name because I've seen bro the elder brother's videos and he's done, um, you know, responses to things she said. And, you know, because she does a lot of videos re refer regarding Jake's situation, Jake's plight. And also, you know, evil laws that so-called white people have set up against um, Negroes in America, things like that. So she reveals a lot of good information. And I've heard the elder Malcolm uh, um, reference her in some of his videos. So, uh, you know, that this just popped up. So I clicked on it and I, I just I, I scrolled it 22 minutes in and she says Yahweh Shai's name, man. So, you know, she's definitely watching. She definitely watches GMS. Definitely, you know. So it's a beautiful thing, man. The Lord's name is basically being exalted, man. And, you know, these Edomites, these so-called white people, right? Putin now in Russia has revealed, you know, that, that vote with the... I, so lucky, I'm going to get some scriptures. But he revealed that... He revealed the truth of what? The Russian icons, which we've been talking about that for years. You know, the apostles, the elders, and us brothers, the fruits on down. We've been saying it for years, man. Talking about the Russian icons, it ain't just in Russia, there's icons over here in England, there's statues over here in England, man, of straight up Jakes. Libya and all over the world, man. Croatia, Poland. So these these devils, you know, they've always known. But what's happening now is because this um, you know, you know, someone of authority, Putin's brought this this truth out, it's it's shaking things up. So it's all the spirit of the Lord anyway, but but these peon Edomites, they're basically they're all messed up about this, basically, because the truth's coming out. The truth's coming out. Who the world ignorantly calls the J word ain't a so-called white man. He's a so-called Negro, man, and his name's Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and he's a so-called black man, man. We've been saying this for years. It's in the Bible, all right? And now the truth, the truth's coming out before the Lord brings this place down, man. That's what's happening, all right? The Lord said it. He'll expose Esau with the truth, all right, by, the, by his prophets, and then he's going to bring the society to its end, man. And we're, we're living close to this, this demonic Edomite system finally coming to its end. And for a period of time, the so-called white man, right, he had to be exalted. They put themselves up as the image of God. They're the people of the Lord. They're the, they're the Jews. They're this, they're that. So for a period of time, they had to be exalted. And they, and they really knew they're not those people, man. They know that in their spirit. But they had to be exalted for a period of time to now be brought down. And that's what's happening now. All right, by this, by truth. So let me play this here, and then I'm going to read some scriptures. Now, I do have an article that says, actually, this art is all over the world. You know, most of it, of course, is in Russia, because that's where it originated. But many well, other it countries... It originate in Russia, but, you know, a bit, a, we ruled Europe. So it was all over Europe, really, you know? You're probably going to, not probably, you're going to get a lot of it in Rome, which they've hidden. you got a lot of it over here in the UK. It's just our people went, these are places our people lived. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't think it originated in Russia because I know Jake was everywhere. you got it in Poland, you, I'm so lucky, not just Poland, Portugal, I was going to say, Spain, Portugal, you know, 
There's a lot of history of our people over here in Europe. So this is this is the 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 the, the thing too. It weren't just Russia. It's just the a big collection of those the Russian a big collection. Um, in the book Russian Icons, yes, it's from there, but it weren't just there, it was everywhere, man. We've been, we've ruled Europe for a thousand years, all right? And all this truth is flooding out now. Including this one. This country has this art as well. So Russia didn't just keep it to themselves. They have been giving these um, pieces of art out worldwide. But of course, you know, America's not going to tell you that. Yeah, because America, according to the Bible, that's the main place. They're definitely not trying to tell you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans that you're the Israelites. See, over here in Europe, people are kind of a bit more clued up. Not to, I mean, I'm not over in America because our brothers are over there teaching in Babylon. But you see, America was the main place we were supposed to lose our identity completely, you know, be right at the bottom. You know, and the, the government of America is just totally doing everything to keep our people in the dark, you know. So... It's a whole different situation. They definitely ain't telling our people anything over there in America. They're, they're just lying and killing our people over there, man. See? So America will never... America will, will never... The, 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 the system of America is never going to reveal who our people are. Because that's Babylon the Great, man. The Lord go and judge that place, man. That's the place of... That's the lake of fire, man. Which is going to be America from east to west. It's going to be the lake of fire, man. But America has some of this art too. But which is Babylon the Great, all right? Uh huh. That's right, and we—that's what we have to understand. It's going to come from people sometimes you never heard of. That truth is going to come from them. And it, look, I don't have no objection. If he wants to use a world leader and a well-known leader on this earth to talk about us, talk about who Yahweh Shai is. And that's it. This is the, that's the one. <laughs> hey, that's beautiful. That's the point I wanted to really, you know, I just skipped to 20 hours of seed. I said, she mentioned the Lord's name right there, Yahweh Shai. And, you know, she's right because the Lord, what does the scripture say? The, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord and he directs it wherever so ever he will. So all these leaders and these, of these nations are controlled by Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai anyway. They're doing his will. So it's, it's beautiful she said the name there. Our Heavenly Father, have at it. Have at it. I'm, I don't have no objections to it. So these Edomites, they're, they're all messed up because this truth's coming out on them. You know, the truth's coming out because there's even videos on it. There's reaction videos on, you know, uh, on that very topic. And you see these cracks. Some of the crackers are accept some of these so-called white people, which a lot of them can be Jake's, are acceptant of it. See, we always knew this, they're saying. And some of them are just straight up salty, man, trying to disprove it. And, you know, he can be any color, but he ain't a so-called black man. Because, you know, really in their mind, it's like if... We, if this is all true, what they're saying, we're basically fucked. We're going to be d done for, because they, because they definitely know in their mind, if if these people get back into authority, what are they going to do to us? They're going to do what we did to them, and and that's biblical. So let me read this here, Ezekiel thirty six and twenty one. But I had pity for my, but I had pity for my holy name, which the house of Israel, Israel had profaned among the even wherever they went. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord power, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for mine holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, wherever ye went. Yeah, because, you know, why did our people get taken to Babylon the Great, which is America in the first place? It was a judgment, man. You know? The Lord brought us to America in slavery, modern Egypt, which, which Bab is Bab America is known as Babylon the Great, it's known as Egypt. Why? Because it's the bondage. It's the place of bondage for the house of Israel. Who are Who is the house of Israel? You Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Everything our people have suffered over there was, and, and, and all over the world, but primarily America, was what? It was a judgment. It was a punishment, man. That's why the Lord brought that upon us. But I wanted to read it on the, on the point here because we what? Profaned. But I had pity for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, wherever they went. 
Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord power, I do not this for your, your sake, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen wherever ye went. Yeah, because our people have been, throughout history, been scattered among the nations. And why? We've always disrespected our power, man. So the Lord brought us down, all right? And America's no different. He brought us to America and we've totally lost completely who our way. Look at, Just look at the majority of our people today. See, now the, the remnant's coming back to the Lord. There is... The elect that's waking back up to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. We know what's going on. We know he's coming back. But the majority of our people, they're just gone, man. They're going to be judged over there in those lands. But the main reason why is always we've profaned the Lord's name wherever we went, man. And you know what? There's our people that are still profaning the name. Because you've got Israelite camps out there that, that you know, they disrespect the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. They, they know the name. Their leaders know the name, but they don't teach it. What 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 is that? That's profane in the name, man. All right. So that's what our people have done continuously throughout history. Wherever we we've been scattered, you know, it's all been judgment, man. All right. It's been judgment because and the Lord's used the heathen nations, primarily the so-called white man, to oppress us. Why? Because we keep profaning His name, man. We've you know we've we've gone 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 astray from Him, but He's bringing us back now. That's why this world is ending. All right, so I'll keep reading this here. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord power, I do not this for your sake, O house of Israel, but for mine holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, wherever ye went. And I'll sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, saith the Lord power, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. And that's what's happening now. The Lord, the Lord is starting to show, look, these are my people, which we've been prophesying that. And now it's, it's like, here is you've got Vladimir Putin revealing the, that vote to say, look, who the world calls the J word, he, he is a so-called black man. His people are over there in America, basically, you know, primarily. That truth's coming out. But why? It's because the Lord's name is being exalted again. And it's funny because this, this, that lady there in the video... She just said, what did she say? She, she obviously watches the Great Millstone, we know that. She just said Yahweh Shai's name in her, in, on her channel. And there's a lot of Jakes that watch her. So that name's being exalted again. But you know when the, the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is truly going to be exalted? When Babylon the Great is destroyed. All right? When America, when, which is America. When Babylon the Great, you know, the nuclear missiles destroy America, that's when his name's going to be exalted once again. Just like when the Lord destroyed Egypt. What did he do to Egypt? He brought Egypt down, delivered the Israelites through the hand of Moses. And guess what? His name was exalted among all the nations. All the nations. They knew that's the old man. That's, that's, those, that's Yahweh's people. That's, hey, that's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's people. That's them Israelites. You see what their power did in Egypt. And prior to that, what were we? We were just in captivity under the Egyptians catching hell. But when the Lord brought a magnificent destruction to Egypt, ancient Egypt, the nations round about, everyone feared, and that's coming back again. So it says, and I will sanctify my great name. His name's great, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's why we, we, we constantly exalt it, all right? And I'll sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have prof profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, saith the Lord power, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes, all right? And he's, he's, his name is being proclaimed and his truth is being proclaimed through who? Through his people, man. Through the brothers teaching, through the, through the apostles, the elders, all the brothers teaching, the fruit on down, teaching in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that name's being exalted. All right? That's why that vibration is out there. And that's why this world is coming to its end because we've been prophesying against it and the Lord's making things happen. He's speeding things up. All right, it's time. It's time. It's time. The time's coming. Judgment's coming. I'm, get, I'm getting ready to deliver my people again. So that... that that, that um, we've been out there, basically. The prophets of the Lord, which Lord willing, you know, we're part of that number. We've been out there proclaiming his name, proclaiming this truth, proclaiming the future. And the Lord, look what the Lord's doing on the earth, man. Look at the Lord's doing, man. So this is it. So it says, but it's all to exalt his name. So it says, it says, I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. And that, and guess what? That great destruction of America, that nuclear destruction you know, that's getting ready to come on the world and primarily on America, Babylon the Great. That's all to exalt Yahweh, but Hashem, Yahweh Shai's name. His name is going to be exalted again. All right. There is a there is a power in the heavens. All right. 
And you're gonna find out all these other religious institutions, you know, that's that's famous of this world, you're gonna find out they were all lies, man. They they didn't know what they were talking about, man. Buddhism, Islam, you name them. They didn't know Christianity, you know, and when we say Christianity, we're talking about the, the, the slavery Christianity, plantation Christianity, with the white images and all that. That was all lies, man. You're gonna find out, man, that there's one power in the heavens and you, the world's gonna get ready to know him again, all right? So it says, for I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land, all right? And what's our land? The, the land of Israel, man. Right now, you've got two heathen nations fighting over it, the Palestinians, and then you've got the so-called Jews, the Edomites fighting over it. So-called, yeah, the Edomites. Esau and Ishmael are fighting over our land. So, you know, we're getting ready to go back there after this destruction. So the Lord's saying it. He's, this is prophecy right here. This is a future thing that's going to happen. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all the countries and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. Yeah, we're getting ready to be renewed, all right? He's going to renew us. You know, it says a new heart. Oh, that's the, see, that's that, that's in Hebrews, the new, that he will take away the stony heart, give us the, the, the flesh, the heart of flesh. That's the new bodies. We're not going to sin again. This is the future. This, this Ezekiel 36 is a future prophecy. This has not happened yet. It's getting ready to happen. It says, it says, a new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away your sto the stony heart out of your flesh and I'll give you a heart of flesh and I'll put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statues and ye shall keep my judgments and do them and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers and ye shall be my people and I will be your power. And this is what's getting ready to happen, right? And the whole world is going to be under our authority once again. When Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai returns, he's going to set up his kingdom and we're going to be joint heirs with him. The brothers in the faith teaching this word and all, ultimately all of our people, even the most bugged out of our people on this side, they're going to get judged, but they're going to be born into, the, into our world. They're going to be born again through the elect that make it and they're going to be good, man. And we're going to be ruling the planet Earth, man. See? But the Lord's going to, we're not going to be sinning again. We're going to keep, we're going to basically keep um, his laws and statutes and commandments. We're not going to go off ever again. We're not going to be worshipping all these other gods like our people are doing today into all kind of philosophies. That's getting ready to come to his end. And you know what? The beautiful thing is the Lord said something, right? Yehovah Shem Shai, he said something in Hosea and it's happening now. It's happening now. He said, I'll give you fame. Let me read it here. It says, Hosea 1 and 10, it says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. Where was, where was it said that we ain't the Lord's people? America, man. Babylon the Great. We went in, and the slavery movie show you that, man. Um, roots, 12-year slave, all of that. Whipping the knowledge out of us. Well, 12 year slave is a bit more in the future, but Roots, for example, when them Jakes was first coming from parts of Africa, when really it wasn't just Africa, it was really Jakes was coming, it was Africa, main part, so lucky, I shouldn't say it that way, because that's what they, they, Esau loves to push that narrative though, it was just all Africa. No, Jakes was coming from Europe too, Portugal and Spain and all that. And what was Esau doing? He was whipping the knowledge of who we were out of us, man. All right? And a lot of them Jakes that was coming from the western parts of Africa also, bro, they had they spoke Hebrew. They had Hebrew names and all that. You know? It might have been broken forms of Hebrew and whatnot, but they spoke Hebrew. Alright? And they had them Hebrew names also. And they knew, you know, you know, they were Judah, they knew they were Benjamin, they knew the tribes they were from also. But you know, we know a lot of our people, they were losing that over time. Then we have to go in, in captivity. But guess what? The main place where we completely lost who we was, was, was where? Babylon the Great, all right? America, the, which is our, the, the, our, our, our judgment, which, was, which is Egypt, America, Babylon the Great. So it says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. There it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. So in America... There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. And that's happening now. 
Now that now and it's been happening. Oh, are the they know these the, see all these heathens and the elites of these nations, they in particular, they know who we are. Even on a low level, they know who we are. But now it's just it's blatant, it's being becoming blatant that those people that in the land of Israel claiming to be the, the ish people, they're just not the people at all. They the world blatantly knows that. So who are the chosen people then? They know it's you, it's you Negroes, Lat they, well, in particular, you Negroes, I'm going to say in America. But you see, more of the secret is what? That is the 12 tribe, the Latinos also, the Native Americans also. That's the deeper understanding. Because it ain't just about just the Negroes, it's about the 12 tribes. But in the, La so it says there, it says, but we know that the so-called Negro is important because that's the head tribe, Judah, man. So, you know, I'll have to put that out there too. So it says, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there it shall be said, ye are the sons of the living power. And that's starting to happen now. And Putin, that one of the kings of the earth, revealing that, that the icons, that's messed these crackers up. That's messed these average peon Edomites up. Now we, you know, whether he's doing it, um, the, you know, whatever his purpose is, it's all controlled by the Lord anyways. Hey, what did the scripture says? You cannot do nothing against the truth but for it. So it's messed these average peon crackers up. It's stir And guess what? It's stirred up a lot of our people's minds also. It's, it's a spanner in the works of this world, man. Oh, oh the J who the world calls Jay is a so-called black man. So, you know, you know, it's all happening, bro. And this is all the Lord's doing, man. And it's ha and now, the, you know, basically they have to ignore. They're starting. To, people are, know who we. It's it's becoming known. These so-called Negroes. These are the people. It's just we're not in that power seat yet. But it, that's coming. That's coming, man. So this is Revelation. I'm gonna read this here. Revelation one and thirteen. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. This is the image of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls that the JC. All right. So he says he had the garment down to the foot, which we use what we wear, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle, which is what? Which is which is the, the like a golden a belt. You know? You know? You see them we, we, we have the depiction image of it. So he had the garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs was white like wool. He said he had woolly hair. We know who's got the woolly hair. So-called Negroes. I mean, here, I've got these icons here from Russian icons. You know, I'll just type it in. And we've, and we've been saying this for years, man. I mean, look, that's all Jake, man. It's all so-called Negroes, right? This is who we, this is the history. This is the truth, all right? And if you, if you look at this icon here, you can see what did the scripture say? His, hair, his head and his hairs were white like, I don't know, <clears throat> what saint this is? Oh, it says it there, Moses, Salakia. But you can see here, his hair is woolly. They have a picture of, of a, a black saint with white and woolly hair. Who's got white and woolly hair? So called Negroes, man. The, so the Bible clearly tells you what he looks like, you know? It tells you what the man looks like. It's just, we live, we live in this Edomite society, and, you know, these uh, devils have been in power and have pushed that white supremacy, that racism so hard. It's. And they've oppressed so-called black people so badly, you know, that they will never, they never want to admit that. But, hey, truth is truth. Truth is truth, man. They, you know, and deep down they know it's true. But guess what? You're just going to be judged anyway. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're going to be judged anyway. All right? And so-called so -called Negroes, you know, are going to rule over you, Edomites. This is your future. What do you think those movies are about, man? Planet of the Apes and all that. There's another movie with John Travolta, The White Man's Burden. There's another movie with John Travolta, Battlefield Earth. John Travolta and um, um, what's the actor from Ghost Dog, man? I, I forgot the Jake actor's name. Um, uh, Forrest Whitaker, which I think, I believe he's Nigerian, Forrest Whitaker. You know? So, you know, there's that movies, but when all them movies are about what? Earth being taken over. It's, it's really the subliminal message is so-called Negroes taking over, basically. And the... the the so-called white people are always at the bottom in slavery in the movie. There's subliminal messages that your elites put out there because they know the future. So his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, an afro, basically, a woolly afro, you know, grey. And his eyes was a flame of fire, right? Meaning what? He had them red eyes, man. Like we was going to it. The Lord, you know, he drank wine, man. He had them red eyes. 
and his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters. So this truth's coming out. So he's, oh, that's the point, so lucky. His feet like unto fine brass. All right, brass is what? Brown, all right? It says fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. So it was, he was dark of dark flesh, man. That's just a fact. But see, what's happened, see, in this world, oh, it says in his voice as the sound of many waters. Yes, yeah, so he had a, that powerful, um, a strong voice. And who, who really has that? I mean, now you're seeing all these degenerates, but for the most part, so-called black men have that voice, you know? So-called black people have that voice, man, it's that bass in their voice. That's why he sort of pushed that for years. You, you talk so loud and all that, all that bullshit, man. But guess what? Um, what I was going to say is this, so lucky I wanted to say this, you know, they don't want to accept that. It is, it's a fact that he's a so-called black man, right? But what it is is that this fucking society, they push that, that white supremacy and it's deep embedded in people's psyche that it's hard for them to accept the truth. But it is what it is. Truth is truth, man. Truth is truth. And they're going to pay for that, man. What does the scripture says? All sins can be forgiven, but what? The sin of blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And who? that's really talking about the so-called white man, the Edomites. They have blasphemed the Holy Spirit. They've totally blasphemed the scriptures, man put their images up as the angels and all this wickedness. No other nation that ever ruled has done that. The East Indians never did that. The so every nation's had their time to rule the planet Earth, right? Or rule portions of the Earth. And they never, they never put their images up as the people of, the people of God, except you so-called white people, you Edomites. You ultimate blasphemers, man. So, you know, your end is near, man. This truth is, is, is out there. The truth is, the, the, you know, the truth is out there. So the end is near. So with that, I'm going to say all praises unto Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai, but Hashem Rukhah Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect Akim that are teaching this word. Shalom Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai, but Hashem Rukhah Kudash. Shalom, Shalom.